Hello friends, today I'm going to solve it good problem number 224 basic calculator. So we are given a string as which represents a valid expression which means that uh, the expression could be used to uh, which would evaluate to return a final result. So what we need to do here is we need to evaluate all the values in the string as and then return the final result of the evaluation and we are not allowed to use any inbuilt functions such as eval in javascript um we are always starting our iteration from the very first index so we start from the first index and then since this value is this is a digit what we do is uh, we we create a variable number and then to that number we actually concatenate that digit so i concatenate the digit one now the next uh, next element in this array is a space right so i just ignore that space and then the next element is a sign a plus sign since it is a plus sign um now i have encountered a plus sign so a number before that uh, definitely there is a number that appears before that and um, the number before that must be evaluated right the number before that must be evaluated so uh, the base case is like for every digit um, for for the beginning for every first uh, like number here since one is the first number two is our first number here one is our first number here so for every first number uh the sign for that number will be positive will be plus one the sign will be plus one so what are we gonna do is once we encountered a sign in our iteration we just um we just concatenate the result by multiplying our number with the sign so this is number n i'm just writing in the sort form and the sign which is plus one because basically no sign means there is a plus sign right so the sign is equals to plus one and then I am adding to my result the result initially is equals to zero so i'm adding to my result the sign times the number so the sign is equals to plus one times the number which is equals to no one which results in a plus one and then i add this to my result so my result now is equals to one so my result now is equals to one here now next what happens here is i did the calculation i did this result calculation once i encountered a sign and then after uh, completion of the calculation i need to update the sign because this sign could be a negative sign as well so if the sign is positive then it's updated to plus one if it's negative then the sign is updated to a minus one value so uh, we keep on continuing this uh, like the process like uh, we check if the next element is a digit then um, so we also like update our value of number to equals to zero because um, anything that appears after this uh, basically these all of these values have been added to our result right so now anything that appears is is equals to the sign here and then this is our number this will be our number and since we are concatenating to our number we do not want our number to get concatenated to the this number here so that is why we rephrase our number here every time we encounter a sign in between so that is how we will do for um solving this problem now that was an easy easy example now let me
now let me walk you th through this example here so in this example we have braces right closing braces opening braces and closing braces so when we encounter a bracket a closing bracket which means that um, our evaluation is now resetting from this point so I need to evaluate until I find the corresponding closing bracket so this is the corresponding closing bracket for this one but before I compute this whole thing I need to compute this thing first right because it is enclosed within a bracket so once i encounter a closing bracket here i just push the push anything all of my results before that to my stack so i'm gonna push to the stack my result so basically this is a stack so i push my result my previous result and then i push the sign before the the bracket because before bracket and after bracket before bracket there is always a sign and after bracket also it it always starts with the sign so that is what we are gonna do uh, we are gonna push the sign as well and then now we are gonna reset all of our values to start evaluation from this point so what are we gonna reset is reset the value of result which should be close to zero reset the value of sign which should be equals to plus one because as I told like we are treating this whole thing now this thing as a like simple um, expression without any bra bracket so on dinner unless we do not encounter the bracket we are gonna perform the same um, same evaluation and once we encounter the bracket then we pop up our sign and pop up our result and then add it to our previous result our result that we uh, received from evaluation of this part and we continue doing that thing so let's jump into the code um, so what we need is a stack first and then we need a result where we are going to store our result we need a number close to zero initially and sign to store our signs initially we are going to reset our result it will be zero number will be close to zero and the sign is always by default one and now for uh, each of the characters in s for each character in s if character is a digit which means that we need to match match this with a regular expression it should it's a digit if it is between 0 to 9 right then um, what I'm gonna do is number plus equals to C so I'm just going to concatenate that number else if C is a sign so which means that c is either minus sign or c is a plus sign plus sign which means that now um just let me show you here as well so suppose this is i start with this so suppose this is my starting value so since uh, it's a digit i um concatenate the digit to my number which was initially zero so i add it to add to the zero the value of c so now my value of number is equals to two next in next iteration again it's zero which is a digit again so i then again uh, add it to my nums oh, okay before that what we're gonna do is yeah yeah so basically i'm concatenating that thing so i guess 
like, so we do not. Yeah, we need this. Concatenating the whole thing, which will give us a number which is still a string so far. And now, once I encounter a sign, it could be a plus sign or a negative sign. Uh, so, once I encounter a sign, um, which means that now I need to perform the evaluation. So far, the number is added to my result based on the sign see initially no sign means a plus sign so we are adding to our result our result is zero so basically we are performing this action now so to my result i'm adding adding what am i adding the sign right the sign based on the sign if it's positive then it's it's one if it's negative then it's minus one so basically i am adding sign times the number so what happens when i do sign times number is plus implies one so one times 20 is a one plus the result and if there was a negative value uh well it will still be a positive value for the beginning but suppose uh, it is somewhere um we encountered it somewhere um suppose it is a negative value so what happens here is that um sign is equals to minus one so minus one times 20 is negative 20 and i am adding negative 20 to the result here so that will that is how i'm gonna get my result and then i update my sign equals to if the sign if sign is equals to minus and sign equals to minus one else sign is equals to a one only and then i'm gonna update refresh reset my number to zero and then again if it is a bracket if the character is an opening bracket then what i'm gonna do is so now suppose i encountered an opening bracket which means that so far i evaluated my result which is equals to 20 now now i encounter opening bracket so i have saved my result 20 to the variable result and the sign now i encounter the bracket so anything uh, inside the bracket should be evaluated first right so what i'm gonna do is we store these values in our stack and then reset our all the all of the values like our result and our sign um so i'm gonna push to the stack my result and push to the stack my sign my previous sign i push these two variables uh, things in my stack and then my result um my result is equals to zero and then sign um basically we are res we treat the this whole uh, everything within the bracket as an independent expression so for the independent expression now we are going to solve the whole thing uh, independently so that is why we are actually resetting the value uh, just we did for the very beginning case here so i'm gonna reset the sign to one and we could still reset our value for num but since every um yeah so i'm gonna reset my value to num uh what i'm gonna do here is um num equals to character times 10 plus num times 10 plus the character c so what i did here is um uh, for this this 
number this number i uh, initially my index is at 2 so um as, and the value of num is equals to 0 so 0 times 10 is equals to 0 plus 2 is equals to 2 and the next iteration the value is equals to 0 right of c so my value of num is equals to 2 so 2 times 10 is equals to 20 plus value of c which is equals to 0 which gives me value 20 so basically i am um um i am multiplying each my previous numbers by 10 to to uh, like to add each of the digits so basically yeah that's what i'm doing and then um, number equals to zero i just would like to reset it here as well else if c is equals to the closing bracket here which means that now we need to push a uh, uh, pop out of the stack so the result that we obtain from this should be added to our uh, values in the stack right so the first at the top uh, we have the sign so what we do is we uh, multiply the sign with our uh, result so uh, result times equals to sign okay not sign but rather stack dot pop and then to that sign we are now going to add the result to that uh, result we are going to add actually our value in the stack which was the previous result that we pushed into the stack so this this value so now result plus equals to stack dot pop this value here and then finally result plus equals to for the final one so suppose i have this uh, at the end so in the end i'm not going to encounter any um any sign nor i'm going to encounter these brackets right uh, i will end up calculating only the number so um, basically i didn't i just calculated the number but uh, no evaluation was done so that is what we need to do here so um i'm gonna perf uh, sign times the number evaluation so i did my evaluation here and then return my result let's run the code um let's use okay we also need to add so what we did here like in this case if we encountered a sign so we just performed this operation right so that is what we are going to do it's almost similar we treat this as a sign but we also pop from our stack so we uh, uh, i just uh, updated my result and then to the final result i uh, popped off from the stack and then reset my value of number now let's submit our code finally this should work now great so since there are a lot of things to keep in mind that could actually lead to a lot of um, errors but yeah hope it was helpful